just describe the work? You describe it as, uh, it, it's basically a translation of, of landscape, isn't it? It is. Um, this work has been a, by and large, a single project that I've developed over the last four or five years. Um, this body of work is, uh, is part of a, a larger project called the Flatlands. And it came out of something that I started up in the Wimmera district of Victoria in the late 90s. So um, that first body of work we showed at the Ian Potter Museum at, here in Melbourne um, in 2001 as part of the Melbourne Festival. And that was set up alongside the uh, Sydney Nolan pictures from the Wimmera from the early 1940s. So the idea of it was really to see how, how um, what sort of shifts have occurred in the way we can picture an Australian landscape over that sort of, I guess, the, the latter half of modernity. Yeah. What is it about the Wimmera? You've obviously got a love affair with it. Oh, I'm not sure it's a love affair. I grew up there, um, so I spent the first decade or so of my life there, and my, my grandparents lived there until they died. So I've sort of had an ongoing relationship with that, that part of the country for 45 years now. And, um, and, and really, the, although it sort of in some way has determined the directions I've taken in painting over the last 30 years, um, as, a, as a single subject for what I've been doing, it was probably one of the most um, difficult ones to take on, you know, because it's about where you come from and all of those things. So the, the, one, the, the things that you really set out to avoid at every, every turn are things like nostalgia or mistruths that memory bring um, on, in, you know, into the studio. And it was a really difficult, uh, it was a, a difficult thing to say, okay, now I'm working with this. But because I guess of the, of that uh, project for the, for the, um, the Potter uh, Museum, and, um, and also to a genuine sort of interest in, well, the, the problem of actually picturing a landscape that isn't easily seen. You know, it's a difficult place to say, it's very flat, it's a lot of big horizon line, a lot of sky. What is it that I can do as an artist that brings something um, to the rep representation or, or description of that place that's different to the way in which it's been described before? There's a great sense of isolation in the work too. Can you actually yeah. describe more specifically where, where it is that you're talking about and how you think it quite directly informs the work that you've, you've brought yeah. from it? Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, in a sense, it, although most of the initial sort of research and field drawing and things happen in the Wimmera district, which is um, Western Victoria, and it sits between, between uh, the Western districts of Victoria and the Mallee, so it's sort of about halfway across the state right through to uh, the South Australian border, and it takes in uh, the Little Desert and all of those places, but it's a very, it's a very diverse terrain and um, it moves from quite um, arable land to, you know, very marginal terrain up in the Mallee. Um, even, although that area has been the, the sort of the, the spot that has had it, the primary focus for the development of these works, in some ways these become now more representative of, of the flatlands around the continent.